Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be working on uh, this kit base somebody's put together. Guy picked it up for free somewhere. So uh, he wanted me to take a look at it and see if there's anything I can make out of it. This is kind of round too because I totally deleted the first part of the, the first video. But I did adjust on the truss rod. I could stick my little finger under the strings when I started. So it's kind of tuned down now, but it's way high. But I did adjust on the truss rod. It was just floating in there, wasn't doing anything. So, you know, there's a lot of issues with this thing. I mean, the knobs are all shaky. The pots are turning inside. Got to look at that. Who knows about with the bridge placement? I hadn't checked the scale length or anything on it yet. Just thought I'd start with a truss rod and go from there. So anyway, that's what we're gonna be into today. Okay, unbelievably, I've got the neck fairly straightened out. But it looks to me like it's still, you know, like the like a ski slope at the end. I mean, just looking at it eyeballing it, it right out here, it just looks like it takes off. So we'll have to see what happens. I'm sure the frets are very uneven. I mean, I haven't even checked. Rattle, 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 rattle. Rattle. Yep. Rattle. Yep. That's not good. So, I don't know. You know I'm sure a fret level would help it, but let's just go ahead and keep going on with it right now till we see, see what. But I have got the action set at 12 thousandths at the 12 fret. So, we're, we're actually good with that at that particular point but I just it still won't look right to me so let's see what we got here okay we got 17 inches to the 12 fret And 16 and a half to the saddles. <laughs> but we've got room to move. So we got a 33 and a half inch skill, should be 34. So we'll have to see if these saddles are going to move back far enough to get this thing to where it'll even end tonight. But I'm going to go ahead and look at the what's inside here see what's going on i'm gonna i'm gonna pull these knobs they act like there's not even a nut holding the oh my gosh they must have drove these on with a hammer Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What in the world? These don't have a Just pull the whole inside out of the pot. They've drove those on with a hammer. That's great. That's fantastic. They've drove those knobs on with some, with like a hammer. Let's see what we got in here. This is why I don't enjoy, enjoy stuff like this. No, 
They shielded the they shielded the cavity. There's a look at the inside of that. Little small pots. Poorly soldered. Very poorly soldered. A real mess and everything's just jiggling around. And I can't tighten it up because I can't get the knobs off. Maybe you can see that. I don't know if it'll focus or not, but that's, you know, they just drove them, drove them in there. So all that's going to have to be replaced. That's great. We're going to see if any of this other stuff's going to work before we do anything else. We got to see if we can get it intonated and see if it's even going to play as far as threat wise this may be one for the for the garbage bin we'll see okay after a lot of crying and gnashing of the teeth this thing's actually intonated I've had to move the saddles a long way they were almost out to the end had to move them kept waiting on the screw to strip or, or the saddle to strip out even you know letting the string tension off very cheap very cheap hardware and as far as the electronics all that is all got to be taken out and redone the reason these are all loose like they are is not because the the shaft of the pot you know the the nut underneath is loose it's the whole they beat these knobs down and beat the back of the potentiometers loose on the bottom i mean it's junk which they were junk to start with but they just you know nailed her down you know so that's none of that's going to be any good so you know Pickup wise, I don't really know. We, I know these things are all messed up somehow. They might straighten out. But it shows promise of actually being able to play. But I've just got to talk to the customer, see if he wants to get some new pots, you know, and put in it. But there's nothing I can do with that. The damage is already done. So that's the reason they were all so loose. It's not the, sh the part that, you, that goes through the outside shaft. It's the inside. All that whole stuff, all that whole thing in there is... All that's just loose, just hanging in there. It's just, just no good. So, uh, didn't have to shim the neck. I don't know if you can tell the action is bad. It's a high action, but it's a usable action. And with the frets, the frets need to be probably gone through and make sure that they're all properly seated. They need, uh, you know, probably leveled, recrowned. The ends of the frets need to be rounded. I mean, we're starting to get into some territory that I don't know that he wants to go. But it is playable if he had new pots. And he, I'll have to see what he wants to do. Hate we couldn't just finish it up, but you never know what you're going to get into in one of these jobs like this until you actually, until you actually get into it. But I'm surprised the neck straightened out. The truss rod was just sitting in there. Uh, you know, so it's hard to, hard to say sometimes. Okay, that's, that's about all with this one today until we get other parts. I'm going to have to do some work on the nut. It's the nut action's too high. 
the tuners are they're 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 on there. So that's about but you know, it's not worth a whole lot to spend a lot on. I'm just gonna have to talk to him and see what what he wants to do. A uh, few videos back we had the Area Pro Strat copy, the STD, STG. <laughs> uh, we're going to get back working on it. I've got the body painted. You know, it was black. So we got it painted a blue green color. It looks really blue on the camera, but it's actually more of a, a seafoam green. I've got to sand it down. It's Orange Peel, Orange Peel City. So I got to. Got to sand that all out of it. And I don't know if I'm gonna clear it or just sand it down smooth and wax it up. It's just rattle can enamel. Looks better than the black. That's the one we're gonna put the P90s, Wilkinson P90s in it. Upgrade the trim. Do a little more work on it. Got that coming up. And uh, got this one here this is a made mexico strap probably going to be changing the pit guard on it possibly the pickups it's not far from a refret but i think i can maybe do a little crowning maybe a little work on the nut and and get by a little while with it man this thing is a, it's nine and a half pounds we're getting in less paul territory with this so Got just a little bit of work to do to it, nothing much. This is a pretty great little guitar here, so really not a lot to do with it. Got a gentleman coming this afternoon bringing three. I know one's a Harmony, one's a Washburn. I don't know, maybe a PV. I don't even know what they are. He's just going to bring them and show me what he wants done, so we'll have some stuff going there. Got some other stuff to get out. I appreciate all my new people, all my old people, and uh, we'll uh, get on with this thing a little later when I find out what he wants to do. So anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Until the next time, see you.